Are cows actually carnivores? It might sound like a strange question, but if you dig a little deeper you'll find there's more truth to it than you might think. Cows and other ruminants like sheep, goats and deer appear to thrive on a purely plant-based diet, grazing on grass all day long. But here's the twist. They're not really feeding on plants to nourish themselves. Instead, they're cultivating and feeding a complex ecosystem of bacteria within their digestive systems. And it's those bacteria that provide most of their nutrients. So, in a way, cows could be considered indirect carnivores, thriving off bacteria they've farmed themselves. Now many people, especially vegans, argue that if ruminants like cows can grow strong muscles and bones from just eating grass, then humans and other animals can thrive on plant-based diets alone too. But here's the thing. Cows don't actually feed directly on plants to get their strength. They're cultivating a rich bacterial community inside their stomachs, which turns tough, fibrous plants into the proteins and nutrients they need to grow. These bacteria break down and digest the plant material, then become food for the cow. So, while it might look like cows are thriving just from munching on grass, what's really happening is much more complex. The plants they consume are actually feeding billions of bacteria in the cow's stomach, which then provide the cow with the energy and nutrients it needs. This hidden process raises an interesting question, are cows actually carnivores in disguise? Let's break down this fascinating process to understand how it all works. Ruminants have a four-chambered stomach, each part playing a unique role in their digestion. The largest chamber, called the rumen, acts as a massive fermentation tank. When a cow eats grass, it doesn't immediately digest it like we would. Instead, the grass goes into the rumen, where billions of bacteria, fungi, and other microbes are waiting to get to work. These bacteria break down the plant fibers and cellulose, something that cows, or any mammal, can't do on their own. So, what's really happening here? Essentially, cows are feeding these microbes with the grass and plants they consume. The bacteria in the rumen are specially adapted to break down cellulose, the tough fibers found in grass, using a process called fermentation. This process releases simple fatty acids and other nutrients which the bacteria use to grow and multiply. In this sense, the cow's diet is indirectly feeding these bacteria with the plants, encouraging them to multiply and become more numerous. Cows and other ruminants have adapted to support the growth of this microbial community, creating a perfect environment for them to thrive. Now here's the truly interesting part. Once these bacteria have processed the plant matter, they themselves become food for the cow. As the bacteria multiply and eventually die off, they move through the other chambers of the cow's stomach, particularly the omasum and abomasum, where they're broken down and digested by the cow. This bacterial biomass is rich in proteins, amino acids, and even vitamins that the cow absorbs as it digests the bacteria. So, while it looks like cows are herbivores in a way, they're actually benefiting from a form of carnivorous diet by feeding on the bacterial community they've cultivated within their stomachs. The energy, protein, and essential nutrients that help cows grow, gain weight, and stay healthy largely come from digesting these bacteria. It's important to understand that if cows only relied on directly absorbing nutrients from plants, they wouldn't be able to grow nearly as large or healthy as they do. The plant material itself lacks enough energy and protein for such a large animal to survive on. Instead, the cow's digestive system is specialized to harvest energy from the byproducts of the bacteria, breaking down the plant material, and then consuming the bacteria themselves. In this way, the cow gets the most nutrients possible from an otherwise low-nutrient diet. Now let's look at how the ruminant digestive system compares to that of humans, and why humans can't thrive long-term on a plant-based diet alone. The biggest difference is in the stomach. While cows and other ruminants have a four-chambered stomach that's specialized for fermenting and breaking down tough plant fibers with the help of bacteria, humans have a single-chambered stomach. We lack the complex fermentation system of ruminants, so we're not equipped to extract large amounts of energy from plant fibers like cellulose. In humans, plant fibers pass through our digestive system mostly undigested. We don't have a rumen filled with bacteria to break down and ferment these fibers into a rich source of energy and protein. Humans also lack the enzymes necessary to digest cellulose, so while plant foods can provide some nutrients, they don't offer the concentrated protein and energy found in animal sources. Another key difference is in protein quality. Animal protein is complete, containing all essential amino acids in the proportions humans need, while many plant proteins lack some of these essential amino acids. This makes it harder for humans to build and maintain muscle mass on a purely plant-based diet.
cows can rely on bacterial protein from their gut, but humans don't have that internal bacterial farm producing protein for them. Over time, humans on a heavy plant-based diet may find it difficult to get enough protein and essential nutrients like B12, heme iron and omega-3 fatty acids, nutrients that are naturally more bioavailable in animal foods. These nutrients are crucial for immune function, brain health, and muscle maintenance, making a diverse diet with animal foods better suited to human physiology. So, the next time you see a cow grazing, remember that it's not the grass itself that's nourishing it directly. The cow is nurturing an ecosystem of bacteria inside its rumen, feeding those bacteria with the plants it consumes, and then turning around and feeding on the bacteria. This process allows cows to get the protein and nutrients they need to grow big and strong without directly depending on high energy or protein rich foods. Nature has crafted an amazing complex system in the ruminant stomach that allows cows and other animals to thrive on a seemingly simple diet of grass and plants. In a sense ruminants are managing a tiny farm of bacteria inside them that provides most of their nutritional needs. This ecosystem within an ecosystem is one of the coolest adaptations in the animal kingdom, transforming a low-nutrient food source into the fuel for a healthy, thriving animal. In contrast, humans are not equipped for a purely plant-based diet without supplementation and careful planning. While we can eat plants, our digestive system is better suited to a mixed diet that includes high-quality animal proteins. So, while cows are like master gardeners of their own gut bacteria, Humans need a more balanced approach to get all the nutrients they need. Isn't that fascinating? The cow is not just an herbivore, it's managing a microbial community that effectively makes it more like an indirect carnivore. If you enjoyed learning about ruminant biology and human digestion, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating insights into the natural world. And hey, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think cows are kind of like hidden carnivores? I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.